Now with more on Benny Gantz's failure to form a government, we have political strategist and director of English operations with the New Right Party, or Hayamina Khadash, Jeremy Salton. And former Knesset candidate for Israel Beitenu on the other side, Colonel Olivier Rafovitz. Thank you both so much for being with us today. Uh, Colonel, I'll start with you today. Are we on the way to third elections, or is there any chance that our leaders can pull something together in the next three weeks? I believe that there is a possibility, still, that we can uh, form a government, a unity government. It is very important for Israel. How personally, I believe that many people in Israel, most of people in Israel, would like to have this government and not a third round of election. But it depending now on the leaders of all the parties. And uh, from today, people are still talking. Uh, talking, uh, it's, sometimes it's visible, sometimes it's not visible. But uh, I think we still have to be optimistic. It, it won't be easy, but it's still a possibility. Jeremy? Well, uh, the key really is in Avigdor Lieberman's hands. Uh, we're in a situation where it's very obvious that Gantz and Netanyahu do not want to sit with each other. Uh, we've had two elections, and it's quite clear that they do not want to have a unity government, despite whatever we might be hearing from both sides. And if we go back to where we were at the beginning of uh, this election, in the president's residence, neither side, neither bloc was able to get a majority, because there was one guy who decided that he didn't want to choose, and his name is Victor Lieberman. And he has ability today, during the 21 days, to go ahead and decide that he's choosing a side. He can choose the right side, he can choose the left side. But if he chooses a side, we will have a government, or at least at this point, sign on the signatures so that we have a third mandate, because we're not sure if we are going to a third mandate yet. But if we fail to go to a third mandate, I think both Gantz and Netanyahu will look at Lieberman and blame him. I will then, then, yeah, sorry, yeah, you it, ran with, uh, with the Israel Beitenu party. To what degree is Lieberman responsible here, and, and would any sort of government, if he chose a minority government with the left or the right-wing bloc uh, to join, are either of those really tenable or stable governments? You know, I'm very happy that uh, the gentlemen think that Lieberman is the key guy for his uh, election, but it's not true. And it's very simple to accuse someone when you are not capable by yourself to do things. We don't want to have a, a minority government, not from the left side and not from the right side, because it's not good for Israel. What we want is a general unity government with a stable majority, with a liberal side. We don't want to have Arabs, and we don't want to have Orthodox together. For us, it's the same. We want to have Kachol Lavan, blue and white, and blue and white, sorry, and uh, Likud together, at least. If they want us to be together, fine, but at least Likud and a blue and white. The point that uh, some people think that we are the responsible it's not a mistake, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's a terrible misperception of the reality. Because for the good of Israel, for the sake of Israel, Israel needs a large coalition. Not a minority, I repeat, not a minority government, not from the left side, of course not with the Arabs, not from the uh, right side, which is actually not a real right side, because the bloc, just to one point, the bloc, the right bloc so-called, is not a real right bloc. Because the orthodox parties don't care about Israel, not to be right, not to be left. They care only for their own interest. Mm -hmm. And for us, it's very important to have this coalition with, again, I repeat, Likud well, but the, and with but, Blue and White. But Israel Beitenu has yeah. worked with the uh, religious parties in the past. Correct. Could, it, could something change in the next three weeks to make that partnership you know, available again? What can change is maybe, hopefully, something within the Likud or within a blue and white uh, party. Because the key are in the two big parties. Now, to think that Lieberman is in charge of all the uh, Israeli politics is very nice. But it's, uh, it's a dream. We'd like you know, to be, by know, the way, I'm, I'm, I'm <laughs> we'd like to be this, a big party. We are only eight seats. Let's, Sorry. Let, let's go back to reality, all right? Okay, there were 55 recommendations for Netanyahu. There were 54 for Gantz. And there were some who decided not to choose either side, and that's Lieberman. If you want to say that it's not his fault for not choosing, so it is. <laughs> and Israelis are going to go ahead and say, if we do go to a third election, that it's not an acceptable situation. Again, you can say, oh, we have principles. Oh, we, we can't be flexible. Oh, our, our, our stuff is very important. But you want to know what? The Israeli public is not going to accept that. Everyone made a choice. Well, and so at the end of the day, you have to choose one so of them. How do you, so how do you see third elections <clears throat> playing out should they occur? Uh, in terms of this, the breakup of the if, parties? If we do go ahead and go to a third election, we're going to end up the same place that we are right now. 
You know, speaker, there be any changes? Spe- you know, we went between the first and second election, we switched less than 20 MKs. And what happened was Likud dropped from 35 to 32, and Blue and White dropped from 35 to 33. Well, but the Likud so, also absorbed you know, two parties and still it, dropped from 30. But, but again, no matter what happens, at this point in time, the entire country is, is stuck between the right block and the left block. And there's one person who's sitting in the middle and refuses to make a because, determination fine, fine, of sorry, which right. side he's on. And it's on him. Okay. Final comments. Yeah, just because the country is divided, there's a need to unite the country not to continue this fracture between the right and the left. The main interest of the State of Israel is to unite the two big parties. I'm very surprised that someone like you, who you know very well politics in Israel, refuse to see this reality. The majority of the people in Israel want a unity, large government, large coalition. They don't want a minority government. They don't want if a they right wanted government. a majority, one, one minute, they would have voted for Yisrael Beitenu. Yisrael Beitenu asked talking. for unity government. You got yeah. only an additional the three fi- seats. Fi- final sentence, and then we have to wrap. No okay. comment. To 60, to this, uh, we can right, have well, a 63 then, MK government with Lieberman and the right wing bloc tomorrow. Right, well, no. we'll have to see. We'll, we'll have to see how it plays out. They have 21 days to, to finalize such a government. But I'm still we'll optimistic see. that for the sake of Israel, we will find a solution to avoid uh, sealed elections. I, I hope for your sake. I hope for all of our sakes. For all of us, of course. All right, thank you so much for coming in, gentlemen. Sure. Thank you.